my name is Jaden, and congratulations, now that you've received your kit, we're going to teach you how to efficiently use it and how to use it correctly. But first, before we explain how to use it, I'm going to give you a brief overview of why baskets are important to California Native Americans. So baskets are not only used as, for food purposes and dining, but they're also used to carry babies and as gifts especially. So after you make your first basket, I encourage you to give it to a family member or someone who's of great importance to you. So now, once you receive your kit, you have to soak your kit for about 20, 10 to 20 minutes. And after you've done that, it won't be as brittle and easily broken. So now you can unwind it, as so, and begin weaving. So the belly button, so base of the basket, has already been made for you. And now the only thing that you have to do is actually create the sides of the basket. When you're doing this, you, you don't want to be making like a flat thing. You want it to be curved. So all you do is go over, under, over, under, over, under over and as you're doing this you want to be folding it so that it's making a curve so you go under over under over under over under and as you're doing this you want to continue to push it up so that you're making the form of a basket under over, under, over, and I'm still adjusting it as I'm going because I don't want to start doing it and then stop doing it halfway through. So you always want to keep adjusting. And because it's wet, it is a lot easier to manipulate as opposed to it being dry where it could possibly snap and that is no fun. Okay, and so because I'm getting to the end of this one, I'm going to tuck this here, and I'm going to grab a new one. I'm just going to grab one. And the rest I'm going to set aside. And I'm just going to start from where I left off. So I'm going to start from about two stitches behind and just overlap. So I'm going to continue back. And when they did this back in the day, it was uh, usually the women, and they would. Uh, they would sit around and they would, you know, talk about the village, their kids, you know, what happened, what was happening with their family. Oh, you know, my husband went out for a day and I haven't seen him since, something like that. You know, usually it wasn't like bad topics, but, you know, sometimes they would talk about that stuff. And, you know, um, they also had uh, babies, obviously, and they would have babies in the they would carry them in these baby baskets that they wove hand wove which was uh it was a oval type basket and the baby would sit in it and usually they would prop it up against the side of the tree or something so that they could see everything that was going on or it was strapped to the mother's back there were cooking baskets there were actually they had watertight baskets this obviously is not one because you could easily slip air through this, so you can see through it, so I'm assuming that you'd most likely not be able to hold water. The only water that could possibly stay in this one would be in the, in the straw. So I'm going to grab another one because I have finished that one, and again, I'm going to overlap it about two or three stitches behind. So, back, forward, back, 
forward and then just kind of keep pushing it down keep you know <coughs> and uh, depending on what was going on in the village you know they would sing they would you know talk about what was going on or or sometimes they did just sit in silence Traditionally, we wouldn't use this material, but um, this is what we had on hand, and this is what we can give to people who are using the baskets. But uh, tule would be traditionally used. It's just not commonly found and is not available to the public. Pomos were known for their baskets because they're a lot more intricately designed than baskets in other places and some tribes that were like down south they didn't even really like make baskets it was more of clay and sculptures but uh, California is known for their baskets because they're really intricate when you want to finish your basket um, the way I do it I'm just pulling these brown strings out so that you can weave it more efficiently all I do is just go over, under. I pretty much continue this style, but I just do it in between the other ones, like the other brown straps. And so you do that for each one. So because this is behind that, you're going to go forward and then backward. So you're going to continue to do that for all of them. So when I'm finishing my basket, um, I didn't make my basket too big this time enough to where um, the thing was sh the other sides were short enough for the style that I'm going to show you. So I'm just going to be trimming them down slightly, not too short. And then I'm going to tuck one, so I'm going to take it one side, and I'm going to tuck it around the one that it's next to, and then in front, and I'm going to hold it in place, and then I'm going to keep doing that around. So I'm going to take this part, go around the one it's next to, and put it inside, and then hold it there. So you don't want it to be too short, because obviously if it's too short, it's not going to reach around. But if it's too long, then it's going to close the opening of your basket. And you won't be able to put anything inside. And then finally, when you're at your last one, you're going to take it and you're going to tuck it inside the hole of the first one. And it'll stay placed. And then after you're done, if you want it to stand up, because it's not really going to stand up straight, you're going to turn it over, and you're going to push the belly button of the basket in, and then you can put things inside of it. So I'm almost done, but what I'm doing is just continuing to weave these, and always it's forward, backward, unless you want to start backward, forward. It just depends on how you started it the first time. But that's how each and every one of them are going to end. So then you're going to go forward, backward, forward. Just going to tuck it into the middle, forward, backward, forward. And you're going to tuck it into the middle. And this one just goes forward and into the middle. And then this last one, all I do, can I do the scissors? I just take the scissors, cut them about, I'd say about half of what it is. I cut it about in the middle. And I just tuck it behind. I don't know if you can see this, but I just tuck it behind this area here. That's the finished version of this basket. And again, you're going to flip it over and push the center down, the belly button. And then, yeah, you can hold stuff in it. If you wanted it to be a lot taller, you could make it a lot taller. Um, 
you can put, depending on how tall it is, you could put like erasers in it, you could put pencils in it. Put jewelry you, in you mine. Could, yeah, you could put jewelry in it. You can put really anything that fits in it. Weaving baskets is really important to our tradition, but it's also a very fun way and a very good social activity. So I hope you have fun weaving these easy baskets.